Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Capricorn for the whole of February. Now I have big astrological news flash. Neptune, the planet of spiritual awakening, slight debauchery, but that thing I've been banging on about, if you've ever watched any of my videos, it's here. It has arrived on the 3rd of February. We are all awakened in different ways. Now, I think it's so important that anybody interested in astrology, get your chart done and see what this means for you, because it's all about your soul awakening. Now, from your sun sign point of view, for you, it's in your third house of communication. Now, Neptune is the planet of psychic skills, of intuition and spirituality. So you may be communicating more almost in a telepathic way with people, or certainly over the next 12, 13 years that it's there, you're able to open up to a deeper level of communication. You're sensing things, you're talking to people about what you're picking up, and it's a brand new you. You're a sensible Capricorn normally, but you know, you are intuitive, you know it, I know it, you have a good gut feeling about things, but this is slightly different. Spiritual awakening within you and you're able to really communicate what you're picking up and expand your ability to get close to people. Now, the other thing that's going on this month is quite full on for you. We've got a full moon and it's in your eighth house. So you're feeling some extreme primal emotion at some point. You're going deep within yourself. Maybe it's something to do also with this fact that you're opening up to your intuition and your own ability to turn that intuition within yourself and you'll be able to sense things that maybe you've blocked or hidden or maybe some emotions coming up because you're overly sensitive so keep yourself grounded because neptune although it gives us great gifts is not the most grounded in fact it's the least grounded planet let's be honest it's all about flowing and and sensing but it's not it's the opposite of you in lots of ways not not literally but it's definitely not you. You're very like, boom, give me the facts. And Neptune's like, I don't care about facts, darling. I care about feelings. Anyway, it'd be good for you. It's going to teach you a good lesson to talk about your emotions and your feelings and to express empathy and concern for people. In fact, some people might be going, hello, what's happened to my Capricorn sturdy friend? They're suddenly talking to me in a whimsical manner. This is good. By the end of the, the, the 12 years, you'll get used to it and, you, and you'll tailor it and you'll tweak it like a fine Porsche of communication. But to begin with, it might just be quite emotional for you. Now, on the 8th, 9th, Venus is going into your fourth house and it's conjuncting Uranus. So you're thinking about what security means to you. You're thinking about your home. You're thinking about your family. You want to snuggle up with people. You want to get very close emotionally to people. And really, maybe that's part of your kind of soul's revolution that's going on at the moment, that you're opening up to your emotions, you're opening up to how you feel, you're opening up to your vulnerability, you're expressing your soft squidgy side and you're ready to nest and take all relationships one step further in the way that you talk, in the way that you act, in the way that you expose yourself. Now, Venus is going into the fourth house. It's also squaring Pluto in your sign. So it could be that you become very honest about your relationships. There could be an ending, a new beginning, but something is finalized when it comes to love. And for you, well, it'll be dramatic, but it will be a relief. You're able to step through Pluto, once it does something, it never looks back. And, you know, Pluto in your own sign, you're going through dramatic changes, dramatic rebirths, you're confronting your fears and you're releasing yourself from things that no longer serve you. So this is another big lesson this month. We then have a new moon on the 23rd in your third house, conjuncting Neptune. So that's when you're finally free after that business of you dealing with things that maybe you didn't want to deal with before. You cannot not deal with things. You're communicating things. You're free from the 21st to be born into this new way of communicating. And it's quite radical, but it's quite exciting. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.